Good morning. Today I want to talk about why pipeline is truly the lifeblood of being a salesperson, a sales leader or a company founder. Now, when you think about the millions of salespeople across the world, what you'll find is there's an elite 0.1%, then there'll be the you know, top performers in the top 5 percentile, and then you've really just got everyone else. And you have to actually have to understand that really most salespeople are average, right? And that's the case with every single field in the world. You're going to have top athletes, top sports people, top musicians, and then you've just got the rest of the pack. Now, there is a way fundamentally where even if you are pretty average in your role, you can still actually outperform someone who's even at the best, the best in their craft. And the way you do that is by generating more pipeline than anyone else. Now, let me give you an example as to why that becomes so, so important. Now, let's say you've got a fantastic salesperson, a top 1% performer and they're able to close one in every two deals that they're working on. So if they're working on two deals, they're always going to close one. And then you've got someone else who's just average, right? And let's say that their closing rate is one in eight. So for every eight deals that they work, they close one. So top performers, one in two, everyone else is one in eight. Now, in this scenario, the only way that you can win is by working on so many more opportunities than the top performer that you can actually still match their end of year performance because you've got so much more in the pipeline. Because if the top performer, let's say, has a million dollars worth of pipeline and they close one in two, that means they're gonna close 500K. Now, what if the average performer has eight times the amount of pipeline than the top performer? That then means that even that average performer, even though they're closing one in eight, they're still able to reach the same level or even better performance and attainment because they have more pipeline. Now, of course, the obvious thing in all of this is that if you're an average performer and you can become better and more effective in your role and you have a better closing rate, you'll be then even more effective, right? But it takes time to become more effective as a salesperson to get enabled, to learn, to grow, to, de to develop. These are attributes that can take years because you know ultimately we're talking about enablement. Now, what doesn't necessarily take years to improve is your ability to generate net new pipeline. That is a skill set that is fundamental to the role and it's a tap that you should be able to turn up and turn the dial up on or reduce it down depending on the amount of effort or the way that you're going about doing so. And so really what you want to focus on is if you are average or you potentially have a team of pretty mediocre performers, you want to start to focus on your ability to generate more demand, to generate more net new pipeline for that team to work on, because that will cure all and it will do it in a faster, more effective way than being reliant on actually the team being more effective in their role. Now, if you could benefit from some support in this area, that's exactly what we focus on. It's generating a predictable amount of qualified sales leads on a weekly basis to put you in a position where you can quickly ramp up your sales pipeline in a fast, predictable and effective way to give your team more to feed on and more effectiveness when they're actually out there in the field. So if I can be helpful in any way in doing that, go on my profile, you'll see a link to be able to book a call and I'm happy to discuss it or equally just drop me a direct message and I can walk you through how we go about doing that. If you are a salesperson, go and actually focus on your ability to cultivate and generate net new demand because that's going to be the fastest way to ramp up your results and really turn around a potentially poor performing quarter. I hope this video has been helpful in some way and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.